In this video, we are comparing the ASICS Magic Speed 2 against the Puma DV8 Nitro 2. What is up, everybody, and welcome back to this very quick video on 40 Runs. I like to do these versus videos quite quickly. There's no point wasting your time trying to stream it out for 10 minutes just to get some advert revenue money. That's not what we're here for, people. We're here to try and add a bit of value where I can. So, I wanted to compare these two because we've got carbon infused plates in both of these. Um, they're meant to be more training focused, I would say, uh, versus the sort of super shoes out there. So I thought it'd be a good comparison. So let's get stuck in. Okay, people, let's go through stats and features. Let's start with the Puma, the Puma. So we've got 140 pounds here uh, of shoe. You can get it a bit cheaper than that. We've got Nitro Elite layer of, of, of foam in the shoe now. Carbon infused plate, like I said, uh, six mil drop and if it's true to size, oh, I wrote the weight down somewhere, hang on, 9.95 uh, ounces, so it's not that light, it's about an ounce heavier than this, which also has a carbon infused plate, we've got Flight Foam Blast Plus, with Flight Foam in it, we've got a reasonably durable outsole on the shoe, again, fits true to size, but it's £170, now that's a lot of money for that shoe, um, so yeah, okay, right. Why am I comparing these? Well, they both got carbon infused plates in them. Uh, they're both meant to be sort of used for training miles. Um, could you use them both for a race? Possibly half marathon distance. You could probably drag both of these out for, but they are a, a shoe that, are that is designed to, to complement those super shoes that are on the market. So, uh, which one do I think is best? Well, I'm gonna go for the Puma straight off because it's more of a, a versatile option. I think the Puma Grip is just awesome. Um, it's a more comfortable ride. It's a more stable ride. The plate does work for you, um, but you don't have to be on it in terms of like really gunning it to get the to get the feeling of that of that plate and that speed. Uh, I would say uh, this is more for traditional shoe. You do notice that it is an ounce heavier than this shoe, but. I'm willing to sacrifice all that because firstly, you can get this for you know, near enough 100 pounds now, but it just offers that, that more versatility than this. Now that's not to say this is a, a, a terrible show, listen to Simon, but uh, for me, this is, just, this is just a bit of a waste of money at 170 pounds. There's no reason to buy this shoe at 170 pounds, people. I think out of these two alone, you go for the Puma all day. They've really improved it. Uh, the Nitro Elite uh, in the in the shoe, the, the layer they've got in there is, is just a it's just a cracking addition to the shoe. The Puma Grip is just awesome and probably last for well to the end of the world. And yeah, and you can't ask for any more than that really from this shoe. But it is more daily focused, daily trainer focused than this. But yeah, out of these two guys, go for the Puma. <laughs> 